Render engines bring designs, animations, and 3D models to life, allowing artists and designers to visualize their work as best as possible. Right now, there are two popular and powerful ones known as V-Ray and Corona Render. And today, we will be making an introductory comparison between the two for those who don't know where to start or what to choose. V-Ray was developed by the Bulgarian company Kais Group, founded in Sofia in 1997. It is a plugin for third-party 3D computer graphics software utilized for visualization and computer graphics animations in fields such as media, entertainment, architecture, film, video game production, in addition to industrial design and product design. Corona, on the other hand, is a rendering software that started out as a student project in 2009. It has been positioning itself in the market thanks to its focus on reducing rendering times and an easier learning curve compared to its competitors. It should be noted that since 2017, this rendering engine became under Kaios Group, the developers of V-Ray, and the company now is continuing the development of both programs separately. The Interface V-Ray's interface is not as complicated as you may think. It is clean and simple. It includes several toolbars with easy shortcuts to some of the most commonly used V-Ray features. In the interface, you can find a frame buffer that contains a variety of additional rendering tools, and there is the V-Ray color picker, a color manager that allows numeric color value selection in screen and rendering color spaces. Besides all this, a file manager that allows you to manage all these scene files in one place in addition to a set file paths, create scene archives, and keep track of assets like textures, IES files, and proxy objects, in addition to other things as well that you have to discover yourself. Corona's interface is a little bit more complicated compared to V-Ray's, however it is comfortable and friendly when finding settings, with few parameters which allows you to focus on realism, lighting, and materials. The interface and the overall logic is similar to the famous Maxwell Render. You can find it in the Corona materials, which makes you able to assign physical properties to objects such as colors, transparency, and opacity. Speed The speed of rendering is one of the most important criteria users look for when picking a render engine. V-Ray comes with a large support of manual settings. Its various settings have given users the ability to drastically decrease the rendering time while preserving a better output image. So in bias-based rendering, V-Ray takes the leadership while Corona lags behind yet again. However, if you match this with an unbiased renderer, the opposite will be the case. And one thing we can mention is that the user-friendly interface of Corona Render comes with an increased speed. Despite the difference in speed between these two rendering engines, both engines have exceptional speed as well as performance. This makes it difficult in this category to say one is better over the other entirely. Also, V-Ray performs optimally in biased mode, while Corona outperforms in the unbiased mode. Irrespective of that, both render engines match each other up in terms of speed and interface efficiency. Render Settings as a newcomer, render settings can seem considerably intimidating as there are many tabs and menus to adjust to render. Fortunately for Corona users, there are many changes that you have to make to start seeing great renders. It also has many extra convenient tools such as the Corona Converter that can develop an entire V-Ray scene with V-Ray lights, materials and skies to Corona ones. When it comes to V-Ray, render settings window hosts many settings for both V-Ray and V-Ray RT. Depending on what mode you use, the settings might require changes each time. And you can find ready settings examples in the forums or even in the Kaios platform. Materials Corona has its material library, which allows you to practice applying materials without spending hours learning how to create them yourself, which can be difficult as a beginner. There are many categories of materials such as glass, wood, stone, etc. These can be applied with a single drag and drop. And like Corona, Vera also does come with a library of materials. However, you can find a wide range of them ready to download in forums for free or paid. Real-time rendering capabilities. Corona does have real-time capabilities also known as interactive mode. It has virtually no limitations and its results are identical to final frame rendering. So your previews look just final renders. In the Corona Render, Final Frame Rendering and Real-Time Rendering are handled by the same engine. In fact, Final Frame Rendering is almost exactly the same as the Real-Time Rendering, only with scene updates disabled. V-Ray has a V-Ray RT plugin, which lets you get almost real-time feedback on your scene without waiting to render the scene each time. 
You can move the camera, change objects, lighting, materials, etc. And they automatically update within your viewport. If you are interested in learning more about rendering, I recommend you try Skillshare. Skillshare is a learning platform that has thousands of classes on a variety of different topics. If you want to learn render engines such as V-Ray, Cycles, Octane, Redshift, or any other, you can find a lot of classes that can help you do that step by step. For example, you can start learning with this class about how to create photorealistic exterior renderers with 3ds Max and V-Ray, which will help you a lot as a beginner. Also, if you are a Blender user, I recommend this class that will teach you how to create and design a modern interior in Blender. You will learn about the basics of modeling, adding materials, lighting, and rendering. And the good thing is, it is very affordable, because you need to pay less than $10 per month to get access to all these fantastic classes. The first 1,000 people to click on the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. CPU and GPU Rendering VUA has a higher level of sophistication because it can compute rendering on CPU and GPU setups. Also, when it comes to hybrid version, V-Ray can intuitively render files on CPU and GPU setups at the same time. And like V-Ray, Corona is purely based on CPU rendering and makes use of its CPU capabilities to render. And as technology continues to evolve, we can get to have a Corona render engine performing on GPU setups someday. Limitations One of Corona Render's main limitations is the slow speed for projects that do not require photorealism. Also, the lack of some important product features can be a problem. Furthermore, the volumetric rendering features are halfway complete compared to its competitors. As for the use of memory, V-Ray seems to prevail because it uses RAM instead of VRAM. And you can achieve real results with both engines, but using V-Ray, this operation can be much more complicated and less intuitive, especially for less experienced users. Their use in the industry. It's true that Corona is a fairly young engine compared to V-Ray, and today because its versatility, it is used by small firms and large studios around the world. Other industries supported by Corona rendering services include animation, architecture, interior design, automotive, fashion, and product design. V-Ray, on the other hand, is also used by many professionals and experts, and many industries such as architecture, interior design, filmmaking, and the gaming industry. Furthermore, it is used by a large range of studios producing Hollywood films, for example, Avengers Infinity War and Game of Thrones both used V-Ray. Software Compatibility Corona Render is only available on 3DS Max and Cinema 4D, and the software company recently released a beta version of ArchiCAD. The Corona Render, however, has standalone application, and Vera is available on 3DS Max, Cinema 4D, SketchUp, Revit, Maya, and a host of other software. It also has a Vera standalone application. The Learning Curve Vera is result-oriented. It gives the user the option to set their own preferences and determine what output will look like and how long it will take to render. If your aim is photorealism, V-Ray is a good choice, but it would be best if you learn the principles first, and generally, it will take around one week to learn V-Ray, if you are already familiar with 3D rendering. And if you are starting fresh, then it can take two weeks or one month to learn the basics, and learning V-Ray tools will not take that much time. But learning the techniques and rendering a complete photorealistic image is something that will take much longer. On the other hand, Corona is user-friendly, because you really don't need to tweak a lot of parameters and settings before starting to render. However, the downside is that render time is left at the mercy of your computer power. The Corona render is one of the easiest to learn, because the setup is simple and most new users can learn it in a few days. Pricing the average monthly price for V-Ray is $80, which is roughly 70 euros, and for Corona it is 25 euros. The V-Ray institutional license is $99 per year, and for Corona it is $25 per year. So as you can see, Corona is significantly more affordable, which is very advantageous when you are first starting out. Final thoughts. V-Ray is famous and an old software, with hundreds of tutorials, material libraries, and 3D models V-Ray ready to render. It has a large set of possibilities, and if you know how to use them, you can beat Corona in speed and other factors. But the unbiased and brute force approach is way slower than Corona. Vera also supports the GPU rendering, which can become a game changer in the future, and it is already doing that to a certain extent. 
Overall, Vray is more complicated than Corona, which can be good for power users and professionals as opposed to beginners. On the other hand, Corona is faster if you like the unbiased approach. It is way simpler than Vray to set up and obtain good results, but it lacks some advanced features. You also have a very limited choice regarding 3D software to use, because a lot of other software are not included such as Maya and Blender. Corona is much cheaper than V-Ray, and when it comes to pricing, Corona is much better than V-Ray because it is way more affordable. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.